All right, Mandy and uh, Doppler radar still scanning quietly uh, here at home, but just to our west, tracking some uh, lighter snow that's making its way across uh, western Ohio. Now, it looks pretty impressive on Doppler radar here tonight, uh, but a lot of this is evaporating before it's hitting the ground. So going to keep an eye on this as the night goes on, not expecting a whole lot of snow out of this uh, first round tonight. A trace to up to an inch at the most as this slides on through. And this will be before sunrise. It's later tomorrow morning that's going to be the problem here at home because there's a developing storm uh, dropping out of the Rockies tonight. And this thing is going to wind up fast and become pretty powerful uh, very quickly as we go through the day tomorrow, which will produce strong wind and also uh, push the warm temperatures our way, which will cause a wintry mix on into tomorrow morning. So here's the way it plays out for the rest of the night into the morning. Temperatures continue to climb as we go into 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the morning through the upper 20s here. Uh, light snow moving on through, dumping anywhere from a trace to up to an inch as we approach 5 and 6 o'clock in the morning. Rich Morgan will be in here early tomorrow morning, uh, keeping a close eye on this for you to get your Tuesday started. Then we're going to get a little break. Uh, by 8, 9, 10 o'clock, that's when that next burst of precipitation pushes in. This burst is going to bring some snow, some sleet, and yes, freezing rain before changing over to all rain tomorrow. So the good news is, uh, one thing to think about is uh, if you're getting a little glaze in your location, uh, it's going to warm up. It's going to melt off as we get into tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures keep climbing on through the 30s, and by afternoon and evening, temperatures back into the 40s. So not expecting a lot of snow. I'm not expecting a lot of sleet, and I'm not expecting a lot of ice. Just a little bit, but a little bit can cause trouble here at home as we go through the morning. Now, tomorrow night it stays warm. Just plain old rain showers in the forecast as we go on into Wednesday. The other story tomorrow, the wind. And oh boy, is it going to get going. Uh, jumping up to 30, possibly 40 miles per hour or, or better. Here as we go into late tomorrow on into tomorrow night, a very gusty, windy day. That's why we have that wind advisory up that I showed you a few minutes ago. Temperatures in the mid 20s now, and they will keep on climbing as the night goes on. Snow developing, a trace to an inch, becoming breezy toward morning, and then just plain old windy tomorrow. That wintry mix early, looking for a trace to up to two inches of that snow and sleet accumulation. Uh, spots where it's more freezing rain, obviously, that is going to be lower. It's going to become windy and warmer as the day goes on. Low 40s tomorrow. Here's your temperatures over the next seven days. 48 on Wednesday. As we go into Thursday, highs in the mid to upper 50s before we start to cool down just a little. Next Friday and Saturday, uh, although it's going to be wet on and off, even a few snowflakes trying to mix in by Friday and Saturday, the rain showers stick around, but the warm temperatures return right back late weekend and into early next week with highs in the upper 40s a week from today. So tomorrow morning, again, I'm not expecting a lot, but it doesn't take much to cause a little bit of trouble out there. And that wind going to be a problem, too. Oh, yeah, I'm sure.